So what's happening now is that uh, uh, Senator McConnell and Senator Schumer, the Republican leader and the Democratic leader, are on the floor debating. Uh, Mitch McConnell just pulled what is known in the Senate as the nuclear trigger to overturn the ruling of the chair after Democrats filibustered the nomination of Neil Gorsuch. President Trump's nominee to the Supreme Court. Yes, you're right. Democrats did this in 2013 to eliminate the 60 vote threshold for nominations uh, to the executive branch and the judicial branch other than the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court precedent remained in what Democrats did in 2013. What Senator McConnell is doing now is going further along that road, weakening the filibuster, eliminating the 60 vote threshold, which creates a precedent that is going to be very difficult, almost impossible to reverse in the future, that all Supreme Court nominees can be confirmed in the Senate by a simple majority. That's what's happening right now. The Senate is about to have the vote to overturn the ruling of the chair. It's expected that Senator McConnell will have the Republican votes to overturn this rule and to, uh, essentially go nuclear. Yeah, it's interesting because it's, it's called the nuclear option for the Republicans, but in fact, it's, it's the, it was the Democrats that had the power to unleash this, really. I mean, it was, it was something that was a threat and was never used until it was used. And now we have a, a whole new environment. But does it really change anything political will-wise, Sahil? Well, so you're correct that uh, the Democrats did, again, uh, do this in 2013, but it's been threatened before that. When Senator McConnell was in the leadership team uh, of the Republicans in the 2000s in the Bush era and Democrats were filibustering some of his judges, uh, Leader McConnell then threatened to, to go nuclear on nominations as well. So this has been a back and forth thing. Both parties have threatened to do it. Uh, Democrats were the first to use it in 2013, but this has been around for a while in the, in the era of escalating fights over nominations, um, really dates back to the 1980s where this precedent has been chipping away and the Senate has been moving toward more and more partisanship when it comes to nominations. So I think that sets the tone in the future. And uh, Democrats will, of course, complain about this. They will say that this uh, for, uh, further harms the Senate uh, in, in preventing cooperation and bipartisanship in Supreme Court nominations, which, again, they protected in 2013. But, you know, this is the road we seem to be on. The Senate is changing irreparably at this point, and it's looking more and more like the House of Representatives. So, um what happens next? Mitch McConnell has said that Neil Gorsuch will be confirmed one way or the other. It's an up or down vote or what happens? Well, after this, uh, if, as expected, McConnell gets the Republican votes to sustain his overruling of the chair, that means that Neil Gorsuch will move to a final vote. That needs 51. He has at least 51 uh, to be confirmed. So the expectation is once this rule change happens today, um, the nomination will officially be confirmed tomorrow and Neil Gorsuch will become the newest Supreme Court justice.